how cute this can is. This is green tea from Mount Fuji. I saw this at like the train station and it was so cute. I was like, I just like it for the aesthetic, but also because in Mount Fuji, we had Japanese green tea every morning. So like, I like to have it and remember that feeling of being in Mount Fuji. Do you want some more? It was just Lunar New Year, so we have a lot of oranges. This one has an incense on it because we like pray for the safety of our cars with the incense and then put it on a car in an orange, so. <laughs> Peel a kiwi with a spoon. Hope you guys have been having a good start to your new year. Let me know how has the year been for you so far. Comment down below. Right now, it is like the end of January, but I already feel like there's so much change that happened in my life in this past month. One thing that I've been really excited about that I'll show you today is our new Lavender Discord community. This is like a new space for our Lavender community to kind of chat, connect, share, learn, and grow together, especially if you are looking for more support or more accountability in your life as you move towards your goals and create your dream life this is like the space that we designed for that to happen for our community it's our new home basically so I'll have the link to join this down below but I'll give you a little preview for example there is an event calendar this is our calendar for January and February where each week there's like different things happening but the main things are Sundays we have a week weekly challenge and every week we'll pick like a giveaway winner from that challenge. Monday we share our inspiration. Tuesdays and Thursdays there's like a different conversation on a different topic in self-growth. So this week we're talking about personal growth resources and wellness. And then Fridays I kind of alternated it. Sometimes it's a self-love Friday and sometimes it's share your wins and celebrate yourself. And every month there is like monthly goal setting. So if you feel like you'd like a space to kind of remind you to stay on track towards your goals, this is a great place to start and to check out. We also have a channel for daily gratitude. I love seeing everyone like post what they're grateful for every day, what I learned. I would like to just nerd out together and if you're learning something new that's cool, like share it with us. We'd love to learn as well. There's a lot of different topics for conversation like mindset, journaling, self-care, positive habits, mental health, productivity, books. There are a lot of hobbies forums where you can like have conversations about like gaming or crystals, music, fashion, anything really. Oh, another channel I love is the pets channel because I love seeing everyone's cute pets. I feel like I go into this one the most because it's easy to just check in and look at the new pets that you guys posted and it gives me that little serotonin boost. This is something that I feel so aligned to creating this year. This year I wanted to bring back and strengthen that sense of community with Lavender. I wanted to really build something special because this is something that I wish I had when I was younger in my early 20s. We're so much better when we come together and we share our 
positive energy with each other, where we share our ideas with each other. They say that you are the average of the people you surround yourself with. If you feel like you don't have that support system, this could be that place. Like you can surround yourself with the beautiful people in this space. I feel like I finished my vision board for this year. I just did it on Pinterest and it's pretty simple, but I'll just go over some key themes on the vision board. So from left to right, I started it with this graphic that says good things are coming because I'm all about having that mindset of abundance and there's more good things on the way. And this corner is my dream home corner. That is my big project for this year to create my ideal, beautiful, creative, inspiring home. Over in the middle, I have a few images to inspire me to both be a reader, read a lot of books this year, and also write. I've been wanting to write a book and I'm aiming to tackle it this year. Over on the right, I have like some sound bowls because I was considering buying sound bowls just to have them in my home. This is the healing and community corner. So as you can see, there's like people dancing, yoga in beautiful places and the flower bath in Bali. Over on this left side, these are images to inspire me to stay fit and healthy, continue eating whole foods, and take care of my body. I love this image in the middle, universe, show me how good it gets. And then some travel inspo are sprinkled along the bottom. There's the financial abundance image here. This one on the right is called the journey of growth, getting out of your comfort zone in order to grow. That's something that I always remind myself to do and then over here on the bottom left is a spa because I love the vibe of like a relaxing spa getting like a massage or a facial or something like that clearly you can see what kind of travel destinations I want to go to this year is like nature and relaxing and beautiful that's it peaceful vibes all around this year I also decided to create a version of my vision board on Notion. So I screenshot the sections of my vision board and created this gallery on Notion so that I can have some like text go along with it. This is on my Notion page for my 2023 goals, which I shared the template and I shared a little bit of it in the Notion planning video. Sometimes I like just the visuals on Pinterest, but I like seeing labels. <laughs> so I think seeing this version with the labels will help keep my intentions focused for creating this vision for this year. All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you have created your vision board and what you use to create your vision board. Is it on Pinterest or is it somewhere else? Let me know down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our Lavender Discord community. Um, but aside from that, I will see you guys later. Sending you so much love. Bye.